Mike Reed of Chocolate Up Bum Joke fame. That is not compliance. I do not <laughs> comply with that. Oh my god, it is. It's genuinely like a poodle mixed with everybody's dad's mate from the social club. <laughs> uh, well, why is he even there? Because we're doing like computer games, then, you know, yeah. run them around and finish by the time computers even came along. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even invented. So, so yeah, what, what, the computer made this first computer. I, I, run around. So what, what, there was not a Mike Reed game. No. I have a confession to make. It's okay. not this Mike Reed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. But we are still the real Ben Baker, Tim Worthington and Phil Catterall, aren't we? We're not oh, no. with gangers from <laughs> Loungeland. <laughs> So is this, uh, this going to be a Saturday Superstore game? The Adventures of Crow or something? No! No! Shut up about Crow. The worst thing is, uh, this weekend I found a video of XTC <laughs> on Saturday Superstore. And they're really funny and interesting. He cuts back to Mike Reed and Crow. And Mike Reed goes, wow, XTC there. Do you like XTC, Crow? And Crow just goes, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck you, Crow! <laughs> The Big Express wasn't brilliant, but come on! <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, presuming if it's Mike Reed that we must be playing Pop Quiz! I don't remember a theme tune to it. I do. Pop Quiz! I remember that bit of the Pop Quiz, that's it, that's what I remember. <laughs> uh, for any of our younger viewers, Pop Quiz was on in the early 80s on BBC One, and it, I think it's most famous now for having Morrissey on it when he would still actually do things that mm-hmm. human beings do. And they'd always have somebody really old on it as well, like Alexis Corner, who <laughs> like uh, who had a hit with Fade to Grey, go, is it Visage? <laughs> 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 oh, bless. But uh, uh, I'm guessing we won't get the option to play it as Alexis Corner or Visage. <laughs> oh, it's made by Elite. They did good games, they did. Yeah, Elite were pretty good, weren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, who did Elite? 100, apparently. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is going to be from the similar era of the TV programme. <laughs> Was that the actual theme? No, it's nothing <laughs> like it. The, the word Mike Reeds looks like any snooker simulator game. I always had, like, that sort of signatures. Snooker or whatever. <laughs> so I'm expecting lots of balls. Hey! What's spe- two specially subject? A feather. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Ro- I just pressed Roch, Roch and Roll. Uh, I think that's a, a flying saucer. Some oh, who have we got? We've got um... There's there's uh, Jimmy Nail up top <laughs> next to Wood of Bros. And <laughs> then uh, Will Ferrell. There's a for Boys Unlimited <laughs> <laughs> on the left hand side. Uh, is that with that fat Elvis Costello? <laughs> <laughs> who the hell? Why, why, why is Moby there from before Moby existed? <laughs> That's not Moby, that's that man from the Christians. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they are very based on people, but <laughs> obviously they're not meant to be there. I am pushing a lot of people. Jeffy Satterfield! Sean Stone in the middle, next to uh, Charles Manson, the serial killer, and, <laughs> and that bloke out of ACDC. Right. We're and taking Osmond, we're taking Osmond. Is that a 70s thriller? The night they took Osmond. <laughs> oh, right, well, okay. I wonder how good Mike Jackson would be at Pop Quiz. That'd be really interesting to find out. 
Well, don't forget he respected Pulp as artists. No, you know. Like, uh, what was his favourite track of Freaks? That's why. <laughs> <laughs> he only had separations, as you know, fuck <laughs> well, Tim. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's some credits for Mike Reed's pop quiz. Hope you like them. I hope there's some questions on rock and roll. I'm looking forward. I'm just still getting the thing waving around Cherry Sap a bit, so here we go. Yeah, uh, for, for those at home, how we do this is that Fell is playing via Twitch TV and we're watching his stream. So there's a couple of seconds out, uh, which for a fast-paced quiz game is going to be <laughs> massively irritating. <laughs> <laughs> I like the neon pink sidings, so though. They are very... It's the yeah. Teleotic Sentinel. It's Freddy. Apparently Michael Jackson is Freddy. <laughs> Whereas our team is Fat Elvis Costello, uh, Luke Goss, and Sharon Stone when she was in Action Jackson. That, that's completely. <laughs> and they've got Will Ferrell, Michael Jackson, and Whitney Houston. Probably right, certainly. Guys, now. <laughs> pick a number between 1 and 12. 8. 8. Classical music. That is actually does say Sharon! <laughs> That's bizarre. Well, who, composed, who composed the who composed Clock composed Symphony? Off. Wagner, Benjamin Britten, Tchaikovsky, Hayden. Correct. Coldplay. <laughs> I, I had to pick one because you didn't answer. So I got I it wrong. It's wrong. I have no idea. I'm not good with classical or knowledge. Not Wagner either, so never mind. Computer. I think wrong, it was Britten? I don't know. Man, never mind. Uh, no, you wrongs. It's the computers go. Now, what I want you to remember, guys, is if you see it with the face on the right-hand side of the screen, that's not me playing, so don't shout at me if I get it wrong. <laughs> shout at me on the other side. Piss! Uh, I didn't see what the question was, because I was talking to you. Um, Billy Fury, Mar there we go. Yeah. No, got it no, wrong. No, Marvin Gaye. Too late. <laughs> Who's Freddie right. Cannon? I don't know. Pick a number, guys, between one seven. and twelve. Not seven. 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 Oh, for look, this is really. <laughs> We're seeing it. Mystery like... music. Which group had consecutive <laughs> hits with "World" and "Words"? The Christians, I think. That blog. No. Yeah, yeah, Moby. <laughs> I got it wrong. No. It wasn't the Christians because it wasn't one of oh, the. Oh, the Bee Gees. Oh well, never mind. Oh, right, World and Words, two separate songs. Yeah, the Bee Gees. Yeah. This is the most frustrating thing I've ever done. Yeah, but to be fair, it would be if you were able to actually play it in real time. <laughs> Can right. we put something in to have longer time? Jukebox round. Eva? <laughs> Eva, Eva Cassidy. Eva right, was just which... two holes. Which? Um, Little Richards, there we go. Which? Yes! Little Richards, <laughs> I got it right. Which man had cameras in women's toilets because he's a dirty, dirty man? <laughs> right, number between 1 and 12, gents, again. Does it matter? 11's already gone. 3. 3. 3 Nelson Mandela. Country and folk music. Oh, Who fuck. had a blanket on the ground in '75? Oh, Janice Ian, is that one of them? No, Don Williams, Billy Joe Spears, Johnny Cash, Crystal Bell. Billy, Billy Joe Spears. Oh, I didn't manage to press it in time. This is this is. I, I, oh, I've I've had more than enough. I think. Yeah. But is there, is it? There, is there any other rounds in this? Um, it's just I like this throughout, I imagine. I think it probably is. So I, I'm quite happy with the decision to return to the correct Mike Reed. <laughs> this thing's just going to go and play itself forever. That is the Pretty most much. damning noise though as well when you get it wrong. It is a genuine... Uh, sort of... Yeah. The sort of noise Mike Reed... That Mike Reed would make, actually. <laughs> well, it depends if he was getting buggered to with some chocolate oh no he's moving again. I should point out that this isn't live but Ben's actually referring to a routine of his that uh, was on Granada Men and Motors <laughs> this is true it was one of his old music videos which I music video <laughs> com comedy videos <laughs> oh 
God. Anyway, it's a joke that ends up with him being uh, anally violated by a no. chocolate bar that has not been out since 1974. <laughs> why not try and find it on YouTube? Alternatively, why not take your own life? <laughs> These are just some of the many options. Great British Tuck Shop book, please. Yeah, I'll go buy the Great British Tuck Shop book, but don't stick it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Something you can stick up your ass is this episode of We Are Not Playing Airwolf. But... <laughs> <sighs> I was Ben Baker. I've been Tim Worthington. <laughs> I'm Phil Catchwell. Stop moving! Not Moby, no. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs>